Hi, all. Good morning. So now I'll show you how you can enable real user monitoring. So in Splunk Cloud Object BT Monitoring Tool, the monitoring tool, how to enable real user monitoring. In the last video, we have shown you right uh, how you can uh, how to enable APM monitoring, right? So now we would like to enable real user monitoring so that we can able to understand the end user session and end user data, end user information. Okay. So in the real user monitoring, also we have only you want to enable RAM. Yeah, you want to enable session data. session yeah you want to enable so you would like to enable both yeah you want to enable ram only okay so a uh, session replay uh trial does not allow us to do that but it's the same procedures so i will show you that okay so what i can do is so let me go to my uh data management available integration this should type uh ram okay so browser instrumentation select next so we need to create a token so from where we need to create a token so uh, just now i have created so I'll show you that setting uh, access management here we need to create a token okay so just now i have created a ram token okay so you can you want to create again next give the token token uh, type name and uh, who can access this token admin and selected user yeah everyone okay so whoever you can define you can define you can create that so already i have created it so now go to your data management available integration uh search uh, rum project instrument in instrumentation then select this uh, rum token next app name Pet clinic environment dev next so we have three types right cdn self-hosted or npm okay so when we'll use cdn okay when we'll use self-hosted okay so self-hosted so you have a control right because your this uh, splunk portal web.js it will get downloaded and that will get uploaded in your server where applications are running and some of the files where uh, applications, okay? Application files, okay? Uh, when you talk about CDN, uh, CDN we can use uh, when you want to have more understanding the performance of your application. CDN is, uh, you can say that, right? So there will be no uh, more dependency, okay? On your application side. So just a minimal ingestion you can have in your application and you can put it, okay? like uh, the source code get directly copy and paste it into some of the startup argument okay so the application html is not a startup argument right and you can enable those things okay uh npm you can use uh, wherever you have npm installed okay so that you can do that right so uh, i am going with self-hosted okay so self-hosted we, we need to download this uh, js file so don't download this files okay directly because always uh, don't go with the latest okay uh you go with one step n minus one is the best approach right so i will go here so i will not download okay so go here go to release page and then we have a version okay so you have 18 version then you have so 17 version is now is a uh, so you can take this so this is a file right you can go and do that right so where i need to do so just now so ls so what i need to do so cd src ls cd uh, 
then minus cd resource minus cd static so this is my uh, hotel web.js so just now i have downloaded okay and kept it here now coming to this double dot cd double dot one step more back ls cd main ls cd resource ls cd template ls cd fragments okay Okay, CD fragments. So we have a layout.html by page, right? So vi layout.html. So what I need to do is I need to copy this. Okay. So this file you need to copy. Okay. So this file you need to copy and okay so this file we have already just now copied so we this file we need to copy and so a script you need to put, put something like that a script as rc is equal to as plank portal web.js automatically take if you kept it there otherwise you need to give the path and as plug uh, rum all those things token everything okay copy this entire block okay and paste it in your layout.html page. Okay, so just now I have pasted. Okay, you see that right? So till here to here. So this line, so in the header block. Okay, once you're done, save colon WPS connection. Okay, now I need to build the application. Okay, so what I need to do is cd slash home. Class EC2 Spring Pet Clinic. So we have so dot slash MBNW Maven clean. Okay. So once you clean it, right, this target folder will get deleted. If there is no target folder, dot slash mvnw package. Again, we need to do package. Because once you add in the application HTML code, right, you need to rebuild your application pages and then uh, deploy the application. Okay. So that there will be application restarts. It might server reboot also sometimes. Okay, so make sure that whenever you are doing, make sure that change requests. You should have some downtime. Okay, the application may, may goes down. Okay, so there could be a lot of. So make sure that CR should be raised. So a lot of things, right? You need to take care of that. So definitely, uh, as this kind of system, right? You need to provide this snippet to. Uh, development team, your application team, and did uh, that right because everyone does not have a right to modify the application and build the application. And so, basically, you need to provide this kind of system to application team. So build got success. So ls. So see this target folder got created. Now let me run the script. The script ran. Yes, you do. Check whether my grab Java. So my Java application is running. Now your go to your application first. So where is my application? Go 
the application f0 f0 so my application is running find on the find on the you can add on that also on the name a last name b address a b c t a b y telephone Okay, so edit on there. A to B one. So that you can do that, right? So now once you are done, okay, what you need to do is you explore the API. You see, data started coming up. Right, there's no JavaScript error. Source all. Okay, go to this user sessions. This kind of information you can get it, but we have not enabled uh, real user monitoring. Okay, uh, we have not enabled session deploy. Okay. So why session deploy we have not enabled because if you go here you go to available integration search rum next token app name a2 d1 if you see right okay so uh, activate session replay is available only for enterprise customer okay so we don't have rights to enable okay for uh, to enable session replay because we are a trial customer we are not an enterprise customer okay so when we have when you work on this uh, organization environment okay then definitely you can enable it. if you have a license then you can enable it, okay so hope you guys have understood how to enable the real user monitoring. Okay, this is not a very uh, you can what you can say very uh, tough work. Uh, okay, you can easily you can do that. Okay, so just uh, you need to understand one time. Okay, so this is everything. You want to have chart. Want to have user sessions or you see each users, each user information, you can get it over here. Okay. Hope you guys have understood. Okay. That's it for this lecture.